I'm going to share the easiest possible way to build a mobile application. So this is an Airbnb clone that I just built using AI without writing a single line of code. And it's a fully functional Airbnb clone. You can see all of these listings already here. You can see each and every single of these listings have like their own dedicated pages and even you can list your own properties in here. Let me just show you how I built this app and other apps using this new AI code editor without writing a single line of code. So it doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner and you have never written a single line of code. This video is going to be your complete step-by-step -step guideline that how you can build and publish your mobile applications using AI. But first, let me just show you how I built this airbnb clone so this is my project i have just created this app inside this new amazing ai code editor it's called rork r o r k dot com you can just go ahead and sign up on rork you can simply just click on the link in description you can start using rork absolutely for free so this is the airbnb clone that rork has just developed for me and you can see it has this preview in here and you can see my app has like multiple listings in here and every single listing have like different images and every single listing has like its own dedicated page as well. I can even directly access the source code as well. So I can just like make further changings or even I can just like download the source code. But before I dive deep into more technical details, let me just guide you that how Rock is capable of building like these amazing apps using AI that to directly inside your browser. So Rock uses Expo to develop these apps. Expo is a React Native framework that actually help you to build mobile applications, not only for Android, but for an iPhone as well. But to develop apps using Expo can be a bit challenging. You will need to set up your IDE, your integrated development environment on your computer. And then you need to like install Expo and then you need to like set up your project and everything. So Rourke simplifies all of those steps and then help you to build mobile applications directly inside your browser using Expo. So if you have any sort of app idea, you can build that inside Rourke because Rourke will use Expo to build that app idea. And now you can publish that app on Google Play Store and on Apple App Store. And even further, you can download your source code from Rourke and then open it inside VS Code or something like Cursor or Windsurf and then keep adding more features inside your app. You might be wondering, what is this QR code? So by scanning this QR code, you can actually directly open this app inside your mobile phone. So this is how Expo works. Whenever you develop any application inside Expo, you can actually use Expo mobile application to directly run your app inside your mobile phone while you are developing. Traditionally, if you're using something like Flutter to build your mobile application, so during development, if you want to like test your mobile application on your mobile phone, you need to create your APK file and then install that APK file inside your mobile phone. But the good thing about Expo, you can just directly run your mobile application inside your mobile phone by simply just scanning that QR code. All you have to do is just download this Expo mobile app on your phone, either on Android phone or on your iPhone. And then you can just like open your Expo mobile app. There is a scan QR code option. You can simply just click on that. And after that, you can just like scan your QR code and run your app directly inside your phone. So let's just go ahead and build a mobile application and then test that mobile application inside our mobile phone, not only on our Android phone, but on my iPhone as well. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. And if you're not following me on X, please just go ahead and follow me on X. These days I'm very active on X, so please just go ahead and follow me on X. All right, so so far you know what is Rourke, you know what is React Native, and you know what is Expo. So Expo is a framework of React Native. React Native is a cross-platform framework. Start using Rourke, simply just go to Rourke.com or you just click on the link in description. After that, you can just like start explaining your app. And there is this functionality as well. You can just like add your own images or you can just like add screenshots of any of your reference apps and Roar can actually try to replicate that reference. But for now, let's just choose any of these ideas. Maybe something, let's just try to build a visual novel game. So let me just click on this. And this is going to be an immersive text adventure game. So let's just go ahead. And now, right now you can see Rock has already started creating the code, started writing the code. It is creating these different code files. And right now you can see this QR code is here, but our app is not ready yet. I've just switched my screen for a better view. And now you can see these are the code files that it has just created. And now you can see it is making changes inside our code. And even in this terminal, you can see we have our QR code. That means our app is running right. And right now it is just compiling our app. So let's just wait for it and let's just focus on our preview 
and see what it will create for us. So, so based on our input, which was create an immersive text adventure game with atmospheric images for each scene, include a main story text area with multiple choice responses, add character portraits during dialogue, and smooth transition between scenes. So Roar created a detailed plan that included main components included story display area, then multiple choice responses, then there were character portraits, then there were like smooth transitions between scenes, game states, then there is a file structure, after that there is a design approach, dark theme with subtle accent colors, and then there was a clean modern UI inspired by iOS and immersive full screen images with text overlay. Then there's animated transition between scenes, character portraits with that appear during dialogue. So it has like the whole complete development plan and you can see still it is going on and still it's like creating further code files. So let's just wait for it to finish writing code and once it will be done, then we can just like test our app. All right, so within just like a couple of minutes, we have got our app in here and you can see this is like really modern looking interface and it has like this image as well. So begin your adventure, there is a, this nice looking button. I can simply just click on that. And then there's the awakening, look around the chamber, call out for help, you awaken in a dimly lit chamber. So this is like kind of like a question and call out for help. All right, so there is echoing silence, ask who's speaking. So the guardian, a figure realizes before you, okay, accept the quest. So it has like even some, some sort of like quest. So accept the quest, head to the forest, ask about dangers ahead. So I'll just ask about dangers ahead. And I think it has just like so far created until here only. If you just want to like test this app directly inside your mobile phone, you can simply just open this app directly inside your mobile phone and then like test it directly inside your phone. So right now you can see our app has been opened inside our mobile phone and for some reason the image is not loading. So but if I just click on this begin your adventure, you can see it is working. All of the questions are working but that image is not loading inside, inside this mobile phone. But app is fully functional. I think if I just like open it again, so image will be loaded. But you can see all of these questions and everything is working as it is. So the app is fully functional. We just like need to, after that last question, we just like need to add more scenarios and more situations and like more questions in there and then it will be fully functional application. Now the next step is building the backend for your application. And this is the most crucial part in any sort of like software building a backend. So it doesn't matter if you're developing a mobile app or like a web app. Building a backend has always been crucial, but thankfully, Rock has simplified this as well. And now we can actually build backend for your application by simply just pressing a button. Inside Rock, if you just go to this top right section and then there is this integrations button in here, if you just click on that and it will just open this drop down from here. The first option in here is backend. So you can simply just click on this enable button and it will enable backend for your application. So using this, we can actually store data of your application. You can actually secure API keys. We can enable user interactions like posts likes and database integrations and in fact if you have any sort of like environment variables if let's suppose if you're like integrating maybe a third party api key and if you want to like store that as an environment variable you can totally save that in here as an environment variable directly inside rock and right now you can see rock is creating its backend you don't have to do anything as i told you this is going to be the easiest possible way to build mobile applications. So yeah, Rock is doing everything for you. So you're just like giving it commands and that's it. Now let's suppose if you have completed your development or maybe you have just like created your initial version and now you want to like import this code inside something like VS Code or something like Cursor or Windsurf because those are like native AI code editors which are installed on your computer. And if you want to like import this code and open this project inside VS Code, you can totally do that. You can just like download this source code. You can simply just click on that. After that, you can simply just connect your GitHub repository from here. You can connect your GitHub account. And after that, you can just like clone that GitHub repository and then open that GitHub repository inside something like Cursor or Windsor or something like VS Code. While I was just like giving you this guide to like download the source code and everything, it has just like built this complete backend for this app. Now everything is ready. Now you can just like go ahead and maybe download the source code or maybe you can just like publish your app. Now to publish your app, because this is a mobile application, this is not as simple as like publishing a website. To publish your app on Google Play Store or on Apple App Store, you need to have like developer accounts for Google Play Store and Apple App Store. 
the developer account of Google Play Store costs around like $25. So that's actually one time fee. And then the developer account of Apple cost you $99 per year. I have created a very detailed video on this topic. I'll just leave a link in description. You can just like go ahead and watch that video to publish your app on Google Play Store or on Apple App Store. That video is a complete step-by-step -step guide. You can just like go ahead and follow all of those steps to publish your mobile application. So please just go ahead and go to rock.com and sign up. And even you can just explore this pricing plan as well. They have these different packages that actually allow you to build more amazing full stack mobile applications. So I hope you really like this video. If you have any further questions, please leave your comments in the comment section. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.